Hello there, you wonderful presenters. My name is Russell from Presentation Design Agency, The Presenter, bringing you all your fantastic presentation tips and tricks to do with PowerPoint, Prezi, and in general, the fine art of delivering a presentation. Today, though, I want to focus in on PowerPoint, and I'm going to show you one quick tip that you can use. It's literally one button that you can use to fix a PowerPoint slide when it gets broken. Now, it might get broken for multiple different reasons. Maybe um, you've got a bit trigger happy on your mouse and things have got out of control, or maybe someone else in your organization has all of a sudden decided they are a creative genius and has completely destroyed the look and feel of your wonderful branded PowerPoint deck. So how do we fix that with just one click? Let me show you. Okay, so we have a really great example here to show you. This is a branded PowerPoint template that my team created for Chelsea Football Club. Apologies to any of the non-Chelsea fans out there, um, but this is a really good example to show you how to fix a PowerPoint slide that gets broken. So the very first thing that I should mention is that this is a slide master template. So if I just move myself over here for a second, you'll see that when anyone at Chelsea is creating a new slide, they have lots and lots of different layouts to choose from. And if I go into the slide master area here, these are all of those different layouts. So this is a must. You have to have this in place first. Otherwise, what I'm about to show you is just not going to work. So this is only for people who are working from a slide master template. So as you can see, if I go back to the main view here, we've got some lovely looking slides as we click through, some really, really nice layouts and use of imagery. But all of a sudden, it goes a bit pear-shaped. So this can happen sometimes if you get a bit trigger happy on your mouse, or sometimes people think, oh, I know this slide master is supposed to be here to save me time, and it's already been designed, but I'm feeling like a designer today. So I'm gonna add my own creative flair to, to this. Stop, <laughs> you shouldn't be doing that. Unless you're a presentation designer, you shouldn't be adding your own design flair to a branded slide master template that an actual designer has spent time building for you. The whole purpose of that is to save you time. Now, if this does happen, you can see that this image is rotated, the icons are all different shapes, the layout is just completely off. If this happens, there's one thing you need to do, and it's just here, right next to me. I'm gonna try and point to it. There we go, it's that little button there that says reset. If you press the reset button, voila, everything gets put back to where it should be. So I'll just show you that again on the next slide because this one's also been broken by someone who's uh, feeling very creative today. Uh, so I'm going to reset that back to exactly how it should look, how it was designed to look, by just pressing the reset button here, and there you go. Everything's done, everything is in place for me. So that's all you need to do to fix a PowerPoint slide. Again, you have to be working from a branded slide master template. Now, if you find that useful, please give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe to our channel so that you can be alerted to all of the wonderful tips and tricks that we're gonna bring you over the coming months to do with PowerPoint, Prezi, the general art of presenting, how to handle those nerves and how to deliver a good message. You name it, we will be building content around it. So please hit that like button now, please hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Yeah, yeah.